Thank you, Ethan. Now we enter the territory of leading actor. And to enlighten us as to the final destination of the mask, a newly damed dame and superlative BAFTA winning actress who, if there was an award for the very best possible person to present this award, award would surely walk away with it. Please welcome the four best actresses in Britain. Dame, Kristen, Scott, Thomas. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. That was slightly over the top, but uh, I forgive you. This category honours five of the best actors in the whole world. I know that any leading actress would walk barefoot over broken glass to work with them. Why they would make such a demand is beyond me, but I suppose when you're that good, you lay down the rules. So let's have a look at them. Eddie Redmayne, The Theory of Everything. So what next? Prove it. Prove with a single equation that time had a beginning. Wouldn't that be nice, Professor? Michael Keaton, Birdman. It's trying to see that like a miniature deformed version of myself that just keeps following me around and like hitting me in the balls with a like a tiny little hammer. Benedict Cumberbatch, The Imitation Game. Play. It's a game. Test of sorts. For determining whether something is a machine or a human being. Jake Gyllenhaal, Nightcrawler. I want to be the guy that owns the station, that owns the camera. The business is going well, but in order to go to the next level, I need to stay one step ahead of my competition and take risks. I also need financial support to implement expansion. Would you like another margarita? Ray finds the Grand Budapest Hotel. Our problem, my dear Zero, is I beat the living shit out of a sniveling little runt called Pinky Bandinsky, who had the gall to question my virility. Because if there's one thing we've learned from Penny Dreadfuls, it's that when you find yourself in a place like this, you must never be a candy ass. You've got to prove yourself from day one. You've got to win their respect. We should take a long look at his ugly mug this morning. And the BAFTA is awarded to... Eddie Redmayne. I was, um, I, I was lucky enough to uh, come to the BAFTAs a year or three ago, and I was suffering from a severe bout of food poisoning. And just as Stephen came on to start announcing the awards, I had to bolt through that door there, and I proceeded to redecorate the corridor of the Royal Opera House in an incredibly unfortunate fashion. It was one of the worst nights of my life. Um, this is one of the best nights of my life, so thank you so much. Um, I would like to dedicate this wonderful honour to three families. To my own family, um, they, they don't work in this wonderful, magical, bizarre trade that we inhabit, but they have been my bedrock and they have galvanised me and had amazing faith in me even when I lost a wee bit myself. Um, to my professional family, Felicity Jones, you are a wonder. Um, James Marsh, our director, you took such a gargantuan punt on me. Thank you so much for that. Um, Alexandra Reynolds, working title, focus, universal, Lisa, Anthony, and my extraordinary team of agents who've been um, whipping me into shape for the past 13 years. But um, really, this award belongs to one incredible family, and they're here this evening. And I would like to thank them. I would like to thank them for their trust in us, for their 
generosity and their kindness um, and for reminding me of the great strength that comes from the will to live a full and a passionate life. So to the Hawkings and the Hellier Joneses, thank you. Oh. Oh, the wonderful Reddy Edmain. We now